time is his time. It's Bam's time. Bam's time to shine. Welcome back to the channel, man. Second video back to back to back. Well, back to back. Because back to back to back means three videos. Back to back is two videos. My fault. Anyways, meet the funniest NBA player alive. Um, Let's get straight to the vid. Kind of have an idea already, obviously, about the thumbnail of the vid, but... NBA players next to normal people looks insane. Yao Ming made his coach look like a leprechaun. Oh my god. Boban's hands? Are you kidding me? Even their clothes are the fuck? Was he shaking it? Boban's hands? Are you kidding me? Even their clothes are ridiculous. Who dresses like this? So it is. Are you kidding me? Even their clothes are ridiculous. Who dresses like this? So it is fun to see NBA people keep it real. We're behind and they're ahead. Why is that? They scored more than we did and we were pretty crappy on defense. I remember it's this. Been fun. Well, that's the exact reason a random player is on top of the pod. Hey, do, hey, bro, whoever, people like this who's super energetic in the beginning of the vid, bro, like, I got to give you your flowers, bro, because that is... An amazing job to keep us watching. Good job. It's an amazing job to keep us watching. Way to handle it, man. You rock. Cast game. You'd never think Jeff Teague has the best show on the internet, but he kicks Draymond and Paul George's butt. He says what it's actually like to be in the league. You're about to hear unfilled. Jeff Teague is gonna fl flourish more in that department because Jeff Teague is not only Jeff Teague. For one, he's he wasn't a like a trash NBA. I mean, excuse me. He isn't. I don't want to call NBA player trash, but he wasn't. I guess you call all star. He was the guy, you know. He gets you, you know, probably average double digits. You know what I'm saying? You know, get you a couple of assists. He was the guy who had games. He had games where he gave you thirty. He could give you thirty, but he was a guy who averaged probably fifteen, sixteen points, some shit like that. I think for his career, maybe I could be wrong. So he wasn't all. I don't know what he was, but he wasn't like like a Trey Young. Shit will never be like Trey Young. Shit is gonna be more so like. On some strictly hoop shit, and his is on strictly hoop, but it's like real life. That's how I kind of view it. If I had it, like I talk about sports, but shit, I keep it real. Like I, like he don't, he holds no bars. So that's why Jeff Teague is gonna flourish on this, on this shit. Real shit. He gonna flourish. He gonna do way better than anybody with the podcast, including Steph Curry. I remember we played Steph in China, right? <laughs> Wait, what? I played the best defense, the hardest defense I ever played in my life. Why? Wow. I saw this. I I've seen like, this on Instagram already. Right? This know, part. Hundred thousand people in the you know they post clips. So, I'm like, bro. so I'm like, that he ain't about to kill me, bro. I swear to God, I played so I never played this hard. Thieves after the game came means that's the best defense I ever played. Steph Curry had 44. <laughs> Start doing that shit because we in China. I got yeah. so mad, I said, hey, man, stop that <laughs> ass shit. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> all the fight, all the fight. But me and Steph knew each other. We was all Americans in college together. We just right roommates there. and shit. Yeah, that's my That's man. what I'm saying. Like, Jeff <laughs> Teague like, was good. Like, he's all American in college. Like, he was good. I'm just saying he wasn't, like, you notice the better the NBA player, the worse the his. I'm going to say it like this. Better the NBA player, worse his podcast will be. Facts. That's all I'm saying. They don't flourish. In my, I don't see LeBron has the shop. Something like that fits him. But him getting on a podcast, you can the shop isn't really a podcast. That's really a show. The podcast, LeBron getting on a podcast, I don't think he will flourish in that. Somebody like Jeff Teague definitely, like, I don't know what it is, bro. It seems like Jeff Teague sound like a dude who you would probably like, like to kick it with on road trips. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's just what it is. Are you like, nah, T, you got, you know... You gotta be more personable so people can like you and shit. <laughs> like, when you make a shot, like, look at your hand, do some shit. I'm like, man, f that shit. You making every shot. F y'all only made four. That's what I was like. I ain't played defense so much. So that explains why Jeff Teague sucked at defense the second part of his career. 
But dude won a championship. It is the ultimate. Wanna, oh, he was on the team. But he was on the All Bucks in 2021. We're wrong. You get to throw it in their face. Unless you're Jeff T. Kyrie did a tweet that they should have won a 2021 championship, right? And I have some feedback. It's um, a rebuttal for Kyrie. Y'all probably would have won that much. <laughs> but this is when KD became the best player in the world to me because he started going crazy. That's when he had all them points. But the whole time, the thing that's funny about this story is Brent Forbes. Shout out to Brent. <laughs> I can't even say it. Yeah, I can't. He never thought he was going to win. <laughs> Wow. Yo, man, we used to be on the sideline. KD hit so he blah, I told you. <laughs> Just ain't meant to be, bro. <laughs> but it, it's so funny, like, because I got a championship ball right there. I got a ring. You didn't even f***ing believe in it. I definitely did. I would keep it real. <laughs> you just being, like, like, that's what I'm saying, being I honest. I feel so bad <laughs> that I got in the game. Damn. What's crazy is that's funny, but we hate when players don't care like diehard fans. People hate James Harden for like going to a party after a season ending loss, but the guys we love are like Dirk Nowitzki or Tim Duncan who selflessly took less money to win championships. But Jeff Teague's like, nah, F that. Would you rather have a championship or a max contract? <laughs> Last easy. I hate <laughs> let me talk about this. I'm no hey, fool. I just want to win. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna say it again. Jeff T can Jeff T can say that because, like I said, no disrespect to him. It's no expectations for like he's an NBA player, a good NBA player. He's not. You see some of the highlights. Like he's not like he he like he he's Jeff T. But he's not expected to win, bro. Like if he doesn't win, nobody cares. Nobody talks about it. If I got to the NBA. Nobody gonna give up like if I got to the NBA, I won, I won already. Championship or not. You get what I'm saying? Because where I came from, I won already. But nobody would look at me different if I didn't win a championship. Let's just be honest. So I get what he like. Especially you see motherfuckers going broke after the NBA. So shit, like no, I be mean, with them hundred million dollar nah, bags, still, like, like man, you get the mass contract, and okay, then yeah, you want to yeah, win. Yeah, now it's time to win. Like shit, that I want to lose. Got, so I get niggas got to pay the bills. <laughs> I would be on a losing team and average twenty, get a max deal, then I be like, <laughs> man, I need to trade me, man. I'm trying to win. Oh god, <laughs> like that. when you done playing, don't know where I remember you won a championship. Yeah, depending who you are. Depending who you are. Most people Depending. can relate to wanting generational wealth over a trophy. Everyone wishes I can understand they could that. a big game winner. I understand but that. But Teague did. The Timberwolves hadn't been in the playoffs for 14 years, but in overtime against the Nuggets, he scored the biggest bucket, which he wanted nothing to do with. I'm throwing the ball to Jim. I'm running to the corner. <laughs> I don't want this pressure. Hey, smoke. What? I was like, ah. Minnesota already hated me. I don't, they gave me all this money. Minnesota didn't like me. They traded Rubio. So I said, I'm not f***ing this shit up. Let me get to the quarter. Jimmy said, come get the ball. What the f*** are you doing? He do it to me. I passed it back to him. The shit out of here. Go that way. Wiggins over there. All the no fucking over there. defense. Threw it back to me. I hit a floater. Like 40 seconds ago. I was so scared to shoot. You said I hit a floater with 40 seconds to go. It was a whole minute and 18 left. This man said. I hit a floater. <laughs> Like 40 seconds ago, I was so scared to shoot that shit. I, 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 I ain't gonna lie, I just threw that bitch over there. I said, oh my God. Do you remember that shit? Man, yeah, I remember that shit, man. I was on the bench at this point, yeah. Damn, I was so scared. I said, oh shit. Jimmy Butler wouldn't take no for an answer, and Teague came up clutch. But what about when Jimmy was done being on that team? There have been reports about how Butler embarrassed his Timberwolves teammates in practice, but Teague explained what really happened. Jimmy ain't came to no workout. So, so workout starts September, we don't see Jimmy. He comes in. I'm looking at my tips. He has his little thing he does. When he gets excited, battery. his hands shake. Hands shake like this. So he, Jimmy walk in, his hands start shaking. Like, we all marks. laugh. And we like, boy, look at Tibbs. Boy, that boy I hype. Look at him. What they? <laughs> Tibbs said, we're going to scrimmage. Jimmy hop up. Jimmy said, I'm playing with them. He picked the bad news bears. It was there, no offense, but everybody in there, they wasn't gonna make the team. He's like, I got cat. I was like, oh shit, so Jimmy and Cat ain't like each other. I ain't gonna lie. We've seen what Jimmy Butler has said about Carl Anthony Towns. And so far, Jimmy Butler has made the finals, the Eastern Conference Finals. He's gone real far in the playoffs. Carl Anthony Towns is not. And we've seen how Carl Anthony Towns plays. So, Jimmy Butler might have been right about that one. 
We throw it to Cat first play. Jimmy steal it. Go down score. They go down score. I'm like, come on, Cat, post his little ass up. Man, he can't guard you. Blah, blah, blah. Jimmy like, f out of here. He trash. This nigga got on the what phones are these? These are some expensive ass. I don't remember the name of these phones, but these are some expensive ass phones he got on. <laughs> Not saying because it's expensive, it's cool, but I just remember Ball again. seeing those. They go down score. Y'all think that team can win without me? I'm him. Pay me. Mind you, he ain't took off his Jordan warm up yet, right? He finally takes it off. He got the Timberwolves shirt on, but he cut the Minnesota outfit. So it's just <laughs> chest. We go in the locker room, ESPN pop up. You know what time it is? Rachel Nichols, Jimmy Butler on TV. <laughs> We like, what the? He like, yeah, I just killed them at practice and um, I think they all good players. We like, what? Hold on. I, I can't make this up, bro. He Damn. came and killed us. And did, the, and did an interview at home. But while no one would call him a liar for that story, the same can't be said for Teague's story about Tracy McGrady. When someone asked T-Mac about this story, he said it didn't go down like that. But I'm not surprised because the Hall of Famer comes off horrible. I mean, and T-Mac don't get along. Oh, I, I, he cold, but he don't like me. I don't like him either. So wait, wait, wait. How did this start? I was uh, my third year. I was starting point guard. He came to our team. I he saw them. Really they back and forth on Instagram on this. I saw this on practice. Instagram. He pull up in a Maybach. Yeah. yeah, he pulled up in a Maybach. I'm like, you know, I'm a fan. I'm like, damn, that's T Mac in a Maybach with some big ass Gucci clothes on. <laughs> they start calling the starting line of the groups. Look like this. N I'm like, yeah, yeah. He's like, man, this <laughs> trash. I'm like, <sighs> heart drop. Like, oh, he got me. <laughs> so that was <laughs> team back the whole I just started talking shit to him the rest of the year. Like, you ain't never been LeBron. Oh, Kobe Sweet. Avery. You ain't never been LeBron. I was like, who the f are you? <laughs> I ain't had shit to say. I just kept talking shit to other It's like, Kobe, man, he said you ain't work hard enough. You average eight motherfuckers, <laughs> man. He go in over here every day. Did that f stole me my chest one day? I wanted to fight that f so bad. Marvin Williams was like, man, he'd beat the shit out of you very loud. So you gotta ask. How do we not know Jeff Teague was this funny? He's like the R rated. Oh, he was a all star. Was he an all star before? But dude was in the league 12 years and didn't have one viral quote. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I say be those players that could really floor. That's why it be those players that could really flourish in other stuff, bro. I'm trying to the tell you. The reason is, well, I kind of made it like that. I hated talking to the media. I just kind of wanted to do my job and go home. In the locker room, everybody knew I joked all the time. I'm a clown naturally, so I clown in the locker room. That's why I got all these stories. But his podcast is going viral with stars like Draymond or Podcast B. Controversial players like Matt Barnes. See, look. This Draymond's podcast, probably, I'm just, it, it would never be like Jeff Teague's. Well, for one, you can't compare. Jeff Teague makes the podcast. You can't compare work with one person, one or two people, versus multiple people in the video. But Jeff T makes that podcast. His is a little bit different because it's just it's his personality, you know. But Teague is special. Teague, yeah, he, he sometimes has one or two people in there. Himself so serious. Instead, he keeps it real, which is satisfying in the world of NBA superstars. Yeah, that was a good one. Def Teague, definitely. I'm definitely going to subscribe to the podcast, man. Anyways, if y'all like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'm out, man.